Look at that with the wheels on. So cool. Oh my God, that's why we do biking. Hello everyone. Today is going to be epic because I'm going to be sessioning my jump bike on a brand new MTB hopper ramp. I've actually received two new ramps that we're going to start off by showing you this new beastie here. Let's get it open. This is the new version of that huge fence stormer ramp that I've got. And I'm well excited to make it. Oh, look at this. Wait, let's get that out. It's got wheels on. Look, it's got wheels on it. That's going to be so easy to move around. There'll be no magic today. I'm going to build this up from scratch so we can see how it gets built. And then we're going to start off just jumping into this little land in here to warm up for the day. Let's. Oh, this is exciting. So big, it's so cool. We've got a few bits going on here. So these bits obviously are going to go here then. Right, so we've got that one little bit there made. Right, I'm now going to put this piece here in. Now we've got a selection of other bits here that you just sort of work out by adding the numbers together. This has got a one on here. There's a one on that bit, so you just connect that in there. Boom, that's in. We've got some more down here. Two, two. That's also got two, two. And then we've got this middle part, which we can then fit in there like that. And then this side. And then these bits click in, which lock it all in position, which is actually obscene. So good this on that is the dream see the last ramp i had you really needed me and you to do it didn't we louis but this one i just did that all on my own then no instructions worked it out and then you just click these down that hook that on there this one hooks to here there we go huge ramp ready to go and obviously you can change the height of it here just see what this is like on there Look at that with the wheels on, so cool. So we just set that up there for now for its first little test jumps. That is well good. Into that land in there. Let's get it. Here we go then, first hit on this ramp. Wow. That is so good. The transition's perfect. Quite a heavy land in there because obviously it's quite flat. I'll get a little tuck in the hander on the go, yeah, Lou? Nice. So cool, you can just set up and shred wherever you are. That landing's a horrible impact, though. Let me try and get a big three on it. Jappin. Nice. I'm just going to step this up just a little bit, look. I'm going to go one setting higher, just to make the ramp a little bit steeper. Boom. There we go. Ready for a flip. Nice. Yeah, that's so good. This is like perfect size for me because the red pro ramp is really good, but it only goes to about this high. And my other Area 51 ramp's probably about this big. So this is like a nice mixture of size. We obviously haven't even stepped it up all the way yet. And I'm loving it. So we're going to get these wheels on and roll it to another spot. So let's get out of here. We've just arrived at Colchester University. This is the best landing around. Just down there. Such a nice angle on it. The security guards are friendly here, but they're not... We're not really allowed to session on it, but they always come along and say, can you move on politely? So hopefully they're polite today, because I'm just about to set this ramp up there and shred hard. I've had to pack the bike in like this because pff, I've tried to keep that ramp built as much as possible. Save a bit of time when we turn up at all the spots. So I'll just grab that out quick. Just lift that over here. Pff. 
perfect, ready for a shreddy. I'm gonna lift this up to quite a high setting this time, see what that's like. Let's go one from the top, perfect. We've got quite a sketchy run up here, because there's cars in, so I'm gonna make the gap a bit smaller. If I pull this to here, Oh, that, oh, that's perfect like that. This could be a three whipper loop. Right, let's see if I can get a run up, because obviously that car's totally in the way there. How unthoughtful of them. I'm well excited, that looks amazing. First test run then, just a straighty. Wow, that is unbelievable. I reckon I've got about 10 minutes till friendly security friend of ours comes along. Then you get a 360 on the go. Wow, that's insanely good. 360 no hander. Here we go. Whoa, no way. My uh, hoodie cover my eyes a bit so I grab that super weird then <sighs> available now on the merch store links up here right now it's time for a 360 tail whip I haven't 360 whipped one of these ramps ever but this new one's perfect because it's not too tall and this setup's actually working great so I think it's going to be the one for it so here we go first go 360 tail whip stomp here we go Oh yes, no way. That was a heavy landing though. That's amazing. Oh my God, let me see that again, Lubes. Action reaps. Oh yes. This ramp setup is actually perfect. I'm gonna do a tail whip on it now. See how that feels, cause it would be quite nice to double whip it. I felt a little bit of a kick then on that tail whip. I think it should be fine for a double whip. Straight in. That was a wimpy attempt there. This go. That landing's heavy. Gotta do it now. <laughs> so much slammage. Let's do this one in slow mo in case I slam again. Either way, it's gonna look cool in slow mo. Let's get it. I'm stoked on that. That's insane. That ramp is so far. I don't think I'm even gonna get the other ramp out today because I'm so happy about that one. I just wanna do. Quite a simple one now, but I don't do them often as a straight double bar spin. I think that's quite a good setup for it, really. Here we go. Wow, that was such a sling. Honestly, this seat makes that way easier. I know you might think, I'm just gonna say it because it's my new sponsor, but it's actually wider here than my other one, and I can feel it on my legs way better, so I have more confidence with the bar spins. So no, it's awesome. And mega comp, and I'm sitting down trying to look cool, like, you know? How'd you look cool, anyway? It's like, that, no? I haven't flipped it, I'm just gonna give it a little flip. Straight in, flip, no hander, actually. We did a flip already, didn't we, today? Flip tuck, then, right now. Here we go, then. That's well good. Man, that ramp's the best. I just can't, I can't even think. It's too good. What a perfect setup. I've just had like wild thoughts in my mind. I wanna drop this as low as it can go. Cause I th think it might be front flippable. Quite sketchy with the twisty run up. 
I'll give that a run up and see how I feel. To be honest, you can't tell if it's going to work from jumping it straight, really. But it just helps me with my mind. I'm going to go another time, a bit slower, because I wasn't used to how flat it was, and then we'll see. The scariest thing about it is it's so doable. I've got like the good fear in my body. Like, is the ramp too steep? Am I going fast enough? Find out now. God, that's why we do biking. Oh my God, that's sick. How's that, Louis? Wow. You got it good on there, yeah. Oh my God, I need to see that replay. Oh, oh man, I'm so, so pumped on that. We're not even gonna, it's not even the end. We're now gonna move on to another spot. We don't wanna outstay our welcome here. Let's see what else we can do with this amazing ramp. All right, we've come to the next spot now. We're at the classic art gallery. The rain is coming down. So Louis in a steezy umbrella there from GoPro. Nice one, guys. Um, we've got a new setup here in the wet. I've put the ramp there so we can blast in, hit this huge gap, clearing this, and then down these two stages here. So I'm gonna come in uphill, big tuck na hander, bunny hop tail whip down, 180 the next step, and that's the finale because the rain's getting heavier. Here we go. No! No! Clean. Stoked! What a line! That was the workout line. Oh my god. What an epic, epic finale to the beard. Wow, things popped off today, didn't they? That ramp is amazing. I didn't even open the other new ramp we've got. So we'll save that for a future vid. On that bombshell of out of breathness and excitement, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.